With MarketPlan's Product Sync Webhook Tracking Method, also known as our generic webhook tracking, now virtually any payment processor you use inside of MarketPlan will be able to track on or offline sales and conversions inside your funnels and campaigns. Agencies or businesses who use invoicing to bill their clients or anyone closing sales over the phone can now use MarketPlan to track their sales that come from offline sources and accurately see how their customers move through their campaigns and funnels. Let's see how it works. If you're familiar with webhooks, automation platforms such as Zapier or currently utilizes CRM for your business, this process can take only a few minutes to properly implement. If you're unfamiliar with working with these platforms or you're just getting started with tracking your marketing online, please contact our support team for more personalized instructions for working with MarketPlan's live mode analytics and our product sync technology. To get started with product sync inside of MarketPlan, check to see if you are in live mode and then click on your desired sales module. Then select either webhook or universal tracking. From the select method dropdown, choose product sync then copy your webhook receiver URL to use later when you create your webhook. Next, enter your product title and product price. You will also use this information when setting up your webhook inside of your automation platform. Using an automation platform such as Zapier, you will create a webhook that will post to MarketPlan so that we can log a sale from your payment processor. To create a webhook, you'll need to set up a trigger that will tell the automation platform to post your webhook to MarketPlan. As said earlier, if you are already using a CRM or another system to gather customer data such as email, IP address, and purchase information, your trigger would be based off of an action you determine inside of your autoresponder or CRM. In this example, our trigger is based off a tag created inside of GIST when a purchase is made of our test product, Widget. Then we filter purchases if they contain our specific product name to pass through to the webhook. Next, you will need to enter the data you'd like to pass through the webhook. Paste the webhook receiver URL into the URL field, choose your payload type which needs to be either a basic form post or a JSON array, and then enter the rest of your data for your webhook. Once all of your information is entered, you can now save your webhook and test the action inside of your automation platform. If done correctly and all of your product information from MarketPlan matches with your webhook, your test will appear inside of MarketPlan right underneath your product information in the webhook notification log. With everything set up properly, you are now ready to track your offline sales inside of MarketPlan using virtually any payment processor.